Okay, so now we want to look at the different types of factoring that we've worked with. And so let's take a look. We're on this answer sheet or the, the handout. And I'm going to take a look at some of the questions that were assigned on uh, the second page, starting with number seven. Now, uh, the reason I'm choosing these is it's going to show a sample of the different types that we've encountered. Number seven starts off with three terms. Now, when you see three terms, immediately you expect trinomial. Make sure there's no like terms. And also, you should check to see whether there is uh, a GCF that you can take out. In this case, there isn't. So the leading coefficient is not one. That means I'm going to have to use complex factoring, complex trinomials. So I'll set this up with the one and the five. That's the factors of five. And then the factors of eight. One and eight, two and four, four, two, and eight, one. We need to find factors that add to give me 22. So let's do the cross check. The product of one and eight is eight, five and one is five, adds to 13, no good. Then we do one times four, five times two, that's four and 10, still no good. The next one, one times two is two, five times four is 20, that gives me the numbers I need, adds up to 22. So my first bracket is going to be 1 and 4. My second bracket is going to be 5 and 2. Equals sign in front. Dress it up with the variables, m on both of them. And now we have to figure out the signs. Let's go back to the question. The plus sign means that the both signs are going to be the same. And the middle here tells me they're both going to be negatives. Quick double check, negative 20m and negative 20, uh, 2m is going to add together as negative 22m. Example number 8, a trinomial again. What's the problem with this? Uh-oh, looks like it's out of order. In fact, we actually have like terms here. I'm going to put it into the proper order, 5a squared plus 10a. And I have two terms. Well, it might be a difference of two squares. It's not. There is a GCF to remove. 5 comes out from both of them. And, whoops, 5A comes out from both of them. And that's going to be A plus 2 in the bracket. Now, don't forget to take another look at that second bracket or the bracket and see whether it breaks down anymore. In this case, it's just a binomial. No factoring involved. Done. Question nine. Okay, two terms. What do you notice? Well, two terms could be a difference of two squares. It looks like it might be with the e squared and the d squared, but you can't square root the five or the 125. However, we have a GCF. You take a five out of both terms, leaves you with e squared minus 25 d squared. And now we have a difference of two squares in the bracket. So we square root the e squared to be e for both brackets square root the 25 d squared to be 5 d for both brackets and we slap on a plus and minus for both those. Make sure none of them breaks down any more than you have there. Now let's look at number 10. It's four terms. Well, there aren't any like terms and there's no GCF to come out of all four of them. However, you expect it's going to be grouping. So I'm going to underline the first and second pairs, but the coefficients are looking a little bit suspicious. I'm going to take care of that in a second. I'm going to first factor out an a squared from the first two terms here. Whoops, got that wrong. And then I'm going to factor out a negative b squared from the second pair. That leaves me with 1 plus 2a. Now, the brackets aren't identical. However, they can be arranged because it's addition, and they'll be exactly the same thing. Which one do we like better? We like the first one better because we want descending order of ugliness. So I take out the 2a plus 1s out in front. 2a plus 1. And the leftovers, a squared minus b squared. Now before you start dancing and saying you're finished, you should recognize that we have difference of two squares here. And that means I can break it down one more step 2a plus 1 and a plus b, a minus b. Number 11. 
Okay, this one looks a little bit scary because we see an exponent of 4. However, the exponent of 4, and then the exponent of 2, and then the exponent of, well, it's actually a 0 because there's no w there, means that it's really just a trinomial that follows the regular routine. However, the exponents are all doubled. And leave, looking at the first term, the coefficient is 1, so it means it's going to be a simple trinomial. So how do we do a simple trinomial? You square root the first term for both fronts of the brackets, and then we have to look at the factors of 100 that will subtract to give 15. Well, think about it a little bit, list the factors if you need to, but this one isn't too bad because, oh, 5 and 10, right? They're going to add, no, that's not it. 5 and 20 are going to subtract to give 15. So 5 and 20, it doesn't matter which bracket you put them in. Then we go back to the question and look at the negative sign that tells you the signs are different. And the bigger one is going to be negative. So negative goes on the 20, positive goes on the 5. And you should check to make sure that the inner and outer products do multiply to in fact give you negative 15 w squared. Let's look at number 12. This is a typical trinomial, there's no GCF, and we've got a leading coefficient of 5, which means it's going to be a complex trinomial. Factors of 5, factors of 14. And we're going to do the cross check to see which product, which pair of products are going to subtract to give me 3. 14 and 5, no good. 7 and 10, there we go. Right? 1 times 7 is 7, 5 times 2 is 10, and they subtract to give a 3. Don't care about the sign yet. And so the first bracket is going to be 1 and 2. The second bracket is going to be 5 and 7. Dress it up with the letters, G and G, and we have to figure out the sign. Well, the negative here says the signs are different. And the bigger product is going to have to be negative. Well, the bigger product, I better look at this there. There's a 10G and there's a 7G. The bigger product is the 10G. It's the first one, so the negative goes on the first bracket, and then the one, the second bracket will get the positive. So there's a sampling of questions. Hopefully you understand all that was going on here and you just practice some more.